Okay, so, Alvin, what are you doing here? I'm here because you're gonna be on the season finale of The Burger Show. Let's get it. The season finale of The Burger Show is here. And it wouldn't be a party without my friend, chef Joshua Weissman. His viral cooking series, But Better, has turned him into an internet sensation. Today, we're gonna settle it once and for all. What makes a perfect burger meal? Beyond the bun and patty, let's do this. It's the burger show, baby. Burger show. How you feeling? Dude, I feel great. You're a burger nerd, I'm a burger nerd. This is the perfect time to actually explore what we feel is the best burger meal. To you, what's the perfect burger meal? So you need just two simple things. Burger, fries, obviously fries. We'll talk about fries later, because that's a big conversation. And then a nice, Paloma right next to you. Icy, cold Paloma. It's citrusy, it's sweet. You've got the mezcal in there, so it's a little smoky. There's some tequila. Maybe you feel a little loosey-goosey. You're not completely blasted because you want to taste the burger, but just relaxed. Agreed. That is Bring you back. Burger. When it comes to my side, you know, it's all about meat, cheese, and bun. The ingredients, the simplicity, it's like a cheese pizza. So I can't wait to see what you come up with. So let's get started. So, my guy. <laughs> Sorry, you're what? looking at me with those loving eyes, dude. My guy, well, what are we doing today? What are you making? Okay, well, we're making a burger, dude. Yeah, I mean, like, right? how, what, well, how are you doing It's not this? the quesadilla show. Okay, so, I think when we make this burger, it's just more so looking at each element and trying to bring it to the highest level that it can be. Okay. And more specifically, technique in every step. Every step. Every step. I think we should start with the cornerstone. Or well, the middle stone, because it's in the middle in between two buns, is the beef. Obviously you can buy pre-ground, but I think it's a whole lot better if you grind it yourself. Being able to control the fat ratio exactly how you want it, that's, that's key. number one. That's key. And so you have to get really good quality meats from Amboy Quality Meats. Ooh, that's a plug right there. I don't have a butcher, so you get it from him. <laughs> so we have short rib here. This is boneless, obviously. And then we have chuck roast here. This is gonna bring a lot more fat, so we're gonna mix that in, but I like to cut it into strips, all right? You can do that with it, or you can just feed it to the grinder, whatever you wanna do with it. Boom, and it comes out the other end just like that. It's like a little time machine. I think it looks beautiful. We're gonna make a burger out of this? No, you gotta, gotta emulsify the fat with the meat and mix it a little bit. You're not putting egg in it. Not putting egg in it. You're not it. putting breadcrumbs. It's like when you make a good meatball. You yeah. know how it's like springy? Yeah. That's usually what I go for, so you see, and this is like, important because when you start cooking that, yeah. you don't want it to fall apart. Right. Next step, I think we should make our sauce. Let's right? make some sauce. We've got to caramelize the onions. That takes so dang long. These are sweet onions, right? You don't. You want. You, you can use any onion technically to caramelize, but why not use one that has a lot of sugar? sugar. We're gonna julienne it. That's what we'll do. In this case, we're gonna cut them a little thinner, just so that they cook a little faster. So don't do exactly what I'm doing. I'm impressed. I just thought it would be a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna chop the fuck out of this. Oh, it's done. We have butter. Okay, onions going in to the butter. So I think it should have caramelized onion. It should absolutely have pickles in it. And it, you need to have that classic mayo ketchup combo. Oh, You can't yeah. skip that. I got this um, ancient. It's ancient kosher This salt. salt is like four billion years old. But Alvin, this one, this one's for you. Socially distance. Uh, there she is. He just did the, the social distance do si -do. Typically, I would make my own mayo. So anyone who's watching this from my channel is probably gonna leave a comment like, oh my God, Josh and uses his own mayo. He's falling apart, like he's depressed. Like somebody help him. I'm okay, guys, all right? Thank you. So, mayo's gonna go in. Oh, look at that. This, this is emulsified right here. Burger show. Burger show, <laughs> burger show. Ketchup, I'll probably go eh, maybe one to two, roughly. Something like that. We've got our Worcestershire, Wor Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, I always struggle pronouncing this. A couple good drops of that. Black pepper, this is pre-ground. Don't ever do this. What is this garbage? What is this? So normally we do fresh cracked black pepper. It's uh, pencil shavings. Pencil shavings. So I'm gonna mix all this together. I mean, I think we could just cut veg while we're waiting. Is that cool? Yeah, let's do it, dude. Cool. Let's, let's set it up. So, I'm down here. Let's talk about the thickness of a tomato. Go thin. Or go home. I think right about, yeah. I think this is my optimum thickness right here. You kind of see through it, I like it. You want it that thin? 
Ooh. Oh. Okay, there we now, go. at home, try it. I forgot about pickles. When you use pickles in a sauce, right? Yeah, that's right. I opened the pickle jar, all right? Strong. Yeah, saw that? Okay, so I think we'll dice these smaller than bite size, like little baby teeth. Is that a weird size? <laughs> a little bit of weird. What is wrong with you? <laughs> all right, so then we're good to add these pickles. No mustard in there. It's sometimes crazy. I add mustard, sometimes I don't, but because you're here, if you have mustard, I'll add it. I have mustard. What kind of mustard is it? Great poupon. As the ad goes, poop on me. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that much. You can grab that and let me know what you think. Oh yeah, look at that. We're ready to add cool. these guys, they look beautiful. Steaming and gleaming, and then we're gonna add them straight to our burger sauce. I think this Done. is a burger this looks sauce. like a beautiful big batch of burger sauce. Butt lettuce. Butt lettuce. That's what it's the only reason I use butter lettuce, because I can say that. You've become famous for your butt. I know. Oh my god, I know. How does it feel to be a butt meme? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Show your butt a couple times on the internet. I just wouldn't recommend it. If you're thinking about it, just don't do it. This lettuce to me is a good mix of crunch, soft. Okay, you still have like the texture of the leaf in between. Before I jump on this, okay. can you griddle one sliced onion for me? Sure. Are we looking like brulee texture or? Yeah, brulee. Buns, these are beautiful. Who, who made these? Yeah, that's actually from my baker, Bread Bar. What? Uh, that's actually the bun that we use at Egg Slut. Look at the shine on these dudes. This is a hallmark perfect bun, right? You know, when you have one of the most Instagram restaurants in the world, you have to have good buns. Whoa, damn, that was a flex. All right, bye. <laughs> I like walk away with a limp like, oh shit, Jesus <laughs> Christ. My reasoning behind this bun, why I prefer sort of a brioche or a, or a milk bread, is it's a little bit more rich, but more specifically the texture, the way it is when it's toasted. It gets super crispy on the outside because of the extra fat, but it's also ultra, ultra light and fluffy on the inside. Kind of tastes like a donut. And that, that fucks. Look at that. Laser. Oh, the smell. I got yeah. you, I got one that's I think perfect. you're ready to hit it with butter. I got it, I got it. Oh, thank you, Alvin. Alvin, teamwork, everybody. Teamwork, he slapped right against his hand. Oof, every base just slapping. We've got some cave-aged Gruyere. Cave-aged. Right. Just saying, oh, by the way, for people. Cheddar, Gruyere. Refined, a little more normal, a little more relaxed. I think I'll do a 50-50 of both. So before we assemble, we're gonna toast our buns. Burger time. Burger time. We got our plump boy here, look at that. All right, you roll into balls, pre-press a little bit, get an idea of how big your ball should be. You know, one ball's always a little bigger than the <laughs> other. about so. right. Ball goes in. Oh, Ooh, yeah. sizzle. Good news, okay. And we're just gonna press it down. I'm gonna hit it with some salt. We're just gonna sear this uh, two minutes, three minutes. Let's see, let's see. Ooh. Look at that. So at this point, I think we can hit it with cheese. We're gonna melt it. All right, so you're just gonna brush it with the flame. You basically just made Colby Jack cheese. Basically, but way fit. There it is. This is, a, this is the chef's anthem. It really is. Sauce on the bottom. Tomato, okay, patty. The half, char half moon onion. Half moon onion, like that. Bang, like that. And that, it does look like, it looks like a Krabby Patty almost. No, it really does look like a Krabby Patty. We have a bounty, a cornucopia of fried potatoes in front of us. What do you think goes with that guy right there? There's nothing wrong with regular french fry. I think it's fine. Nothing wrong. I'm down with it. But because I want to be different, maybe I would go for a waffle. But then again, plenty of people are doing waffle, but there's not enough people doing a tot. Tots. And if you make a perfect tot, I don't think it is beatable, and it's enough of a different experience that you can have this classic burger that has some adult qualities to it, but then bring back that ultra nostalgia with the tot. Agreed. Tots are great. So, we have our burger, we have our tots. Now I think we need to make our drink. More specifically, a Paloma. The simplest way I could put a Paloma is it's a grapefruit forward tequila beverage. Does that feel right? Does that look right? Take your Paloma, all right? That's gonna go into your glass that already has ice in it. Okay, you're gonna top it. Yeah! So, somebody <laughs> did that. that Who did that? That was Christian. Uh, did, did we plan that? Did we fucking plan that? Top it off with a little bit of uh, 
little bit of this bubbly, all right? And you're gonna give it a good, uh, ooh, ooh, this is a Ooh, that's night. a juicy one. This is your perfect burger meal right there. We're playing it safe. Since I can't taste that burger, channel your inner Alvin. All right, folks, this looks like a pretty good burger. <laughs> Fuck. Just fucking eat oh, it. I'll just fucking eat just it. Just fucking right. eat it. Moment of truth time. Cross sections. Ooh, it's a cross section right there, Ooh. brother. Look at that. Normally I would do meat cheese bun, but that is baller. The onions, who caramelized these? They're fucking perfect. Oh my God. And then the Paloma. Oh, that's refreshing. That's refreshing. It's gotta be refreshing. This is insanely refreshing. I fucking want one. My turn. When I think of perfect burger, I still go back to meat, cheese, and bun. The burger that really pushes through and that, that I feel that I want to recreate and what I thought was a perfect burger meal was from Peter Luger's in Brooklyn. Right, so this is somewhat similar to that, but not exactly the same. So I'm starting off with this bun. This is my bun that I created with our baker, coated in sesame seed. Now this is just Chuck, and then I'm gonna make my burger sauce. Oh, it's already mised out. Why wasn't mine mised out? Yeah, I've become that guy. <laughs> I have pickled Serrano's twice as much of sweet pickled relish. And then red onion, that is my vegetable for my burger. <laughs> it's like a little pickle salad. So yeah, my ideal burger, and like this goes with like what I have at In-N-Out, it always has a little bit of spice. I'm gonna make a little sauce with just Dijon mustard and mayo. It's gonna have that nice, astringent flavor of the Dijon, but it's gonna contrast really well with the spice and the sweetness of the relish. I'll pre-patty this so that it's about a half inch bigger than the circumference of the bun. Because you have to allow for the shrinkage of, of the meat. Throw that in. Oof. At Peter Luger, it's literally a really thick, dry aged patty, raw onion, and cheese. Yeah, I bet you love that. Oh, it's, it, it's perfect. And then I'm gonna hit it with some fresh cracked pepper. Smelling good. Just moving the oil around so that it hits the edges of the burger. That's an underrated technique. Bam, Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Nice crust on there. Now I'm gonna top it with some cheese. This is American cheese. Oh no. Look, I like American cheese. Yeah, this is why you don't need the torch. American cheese is classic. I'm gonna put a little bit of this mustard mayo on here. Everything's so natural. His movements just, it's almost like they whisper. Burger. I'm hitting it with my relish. That looks beautiful. Plump boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks fire. I'm gonna top this. Ooh, that's a that's a pretty burger. And that's it. That's I mean, a beautiful look burger. Look at that. This is my go-to French fry for this particular burger. It's just fun, right? It's, it's fun. a fun fry. And then a little bit of chipotle mayo on the side. I got the burger. I got the fries. Now I'm gonna make you. My dream. It's super simple. <laughs> styrofoam oh, cup. Styro double wall. Double, double cup love. Crushed chewable ice. Matthew McConaughey is crying. And last but not least, I have a soda made by a pediatrician. This is the Burger Show perfect burger meal. And look, look at it. It's just like perfect. The layers, is, it's like doit. Look at you that. Know? And also soda, nostalgia. Or lean, I don't know what that is. I'm no, assuming it's so. Yeah, not the lean's not in there yet. Yeah, okay, that's uh, that's later. That's after we cut. That's off the after camera. we cut. Ooh, look at the juices. I'm gonna channel. Do the B-roll, dude. My it, my inner J Dubs. Oh no, it's Lisa. Please don't say crispy. It's so done. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. The cheese is melty. The bun is great. Now let's give it a little taste. So now, that right there. That's better than most burgers out there, because I made it. Let's try the fry. Waffle fry, love the waffle fry into the chipotle. Played out chipotle mayo, but it's all good. You hear that? Still, crispy. <laughs> 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 
Oh, that's awful. Uh, soda? Can soda? I'm gonna, I'd rather make my own soda. But it's pretty good. <laughs> so. Fuck, I mean, there's a lot of things that we learned. What did we learn oh today? Oh my God. Um, buy your own ingredients. Don't trust any pressurized containers in this room. But also, you're, uh, you're like a burger marksman. Burger King, I would you know, even say. And you are the composer. The composer of glorious food. And you didn't fall short today. Thanks for coming on the show, man. I appreciate it. Burger people, watch his show. Watch my show. Burger love, baby. Burger love. <laughs>